next guest is a British superstar in Oz on a whirlwind visit to perform at the Logies. James Bay has achieved 9 billion, with a B, streams worldwide. And last night he belted out his hits in front of our biggest TV stars. James is gearing up for the release of his highly anticipated new album, Changes All The Time. And James Bay joins us now. Good morning, mate. Thank you so much. Uh, international superstar, you rock up to the Logies. Do you know what I loved about your performance last night? As soon as you started, you said, come on, people, get up, start dancing. And mm. we'd been sitting down for about nine hours there at that go. point. Yes. So thank you for doing that. Um, how was it? How was the performance? It was great fun. Uh, it, it was a sort of familiar sort of setting for me to like some of the British versions of that. They, the, the, I feel like it was inevitable in the best way that the Aussie versions and the British versions of award ceremonies were going to be sort of a similar kind of knees up. It was, it was a really great time. Yeah, well, we loved having you. So thank you. Thank you also for getting up because you, this morning, to be on the couch this morning, because you flew in at six o'clock yesterday morning, yeah. then you performed, then you got up early. Yeah. We know what life is like for singers. So uh, it, it, is this just normal rock star? Well, uh, maybe, yeah, kind of. But also, if we, I think when you when you... When you're invited down under and then you make the effort to get all the way there, I think you've got to get, give it everything that you can. And all these lovely invites are here to sort of come and see everyone. You know, I don't get to be here all the time. So I, I, I can't, I don't want to turn anything down if I can help it. Yeah. Oh, good on you, mate. Thank you for making the time. Yeah. Uh, tenth anniversary of your breakout song, Let It Go. Yeah. Uh, take us through the moment where you go, oh, this is it. I'm now a star. Um, when I think about that, moment it's not necessarily sort of one second it's a it's a period of time but it really i'm going to say this i'm not just saying it because i'm here australia played a huge part in my uh sort of beginnings and my like initial like ascent um i was told sometime in the last year i can't remember who told me someone from my my label my team australia was the first place that i had like an official hit of any kind uh, so it has been, and but from the first time I ever came here in about January 2015, I've always felt, you know, you feel the love. I sort of felt, felt like even more than that. I felt very at home. And it also felt like that fresh new thing of people being excited to, to see you. So when I think about Let It Go and Hold Back the River and like those early moments uh, in my career, I, I think about Australia. So you are, you're asking me that question in a very specific and sort of special place and territory for me. Oh, and it's, it always brings back. Mm. Great memories. Oh, that's lovely to hear that. Yeah, is that sort of a shock that you come halfway across the world and then we all know the words? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one thousand percent. Like it's 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 very bizarre because to to go up the road to like Manchester from London yeah. and experience that was completely unbelievable. I remember the, one of the first times I did that. I was in a in the back of a pub um, to about a hundred people who'd actually bought a ticket. It was like a very small gig in, in in Manchester, but one of my first like headline shows. And yeah, it blew me away. So. To sit on a plane nearly 10 years ago for what like, felt like 10 years, get off at the other end <laughs> mm. and like people recognise me in the supermarket. It was absolutely mad and That's wonderful. Cool. And um, it's always felt the same coming back here. Yeah. So I, I do, I try and get here as much as I can. Pandemic really got in the way, but we'll forget about that. Yeah. Um, so nice to hear new music on Thank the you. way, new album. Thank you. Um, how, how, when's it going to drop and, and what can we expect? Uh, it's coming on the 4th of October. Um, it feels, I'm really excited, particularly like about the sort of sonics of this album. But me and my band, we were in the room together uh, for the first time, really. Um, and it was also, records get made in all kinds of different ways now, um, usually sort of broken up periods of time, sort of at home and in a studio and here and there and everywhere. This was ultimately the sort of old fashioned way. And actually this song, Up All Night, was written while we were, usually you take the songs in and you get them all recorded. Yeah. We wrote this spontaneously in the studio while we were wow. recording all the other songs. Really? So it was a very, very, very organic experience. That's so right. Absolutely. Too. I loved it. Mm. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much for uh, coming in this morning. And last night was amazing. Thank you so much. It was yeah. a good time. Well it was done, really James. great. James Bay's new album, Changes All the Time, is out on the 20th of September.